Your breakfast to make you friends, and we'll be all three sworn brothers to friends. Let it be so, Guko Bronim. I shall live so long as I may, and when I can live no longer, I will do as I may. That is my rest, that is the rendezvous of it. It is certain that he's married to now quickly, and certainly she did you wrong. I cannot tell. Things must be as they may, men may sleep, and they may have their throats about them at that time, and some say knives have edges. Patience, though she be a tired mare, yet she will plod. There must be conclusions. I cannot tell. He got mentioned based on his wife. The corporal, a patient here. How now, my host, Pistol? Base tight calls down me host. Now by this hand, I swear I scorn the term. Nor shall my nail keep lodging. <laughs> no, by my troth, not long. We cannot lodge and board a dozen of fourteen gentlewomen who live honestly by the prick of their needles. It will be thought we keep a body house straight. How now, well a day, lady, if she be not drawn. Now we shall think willful adultery and murder committed. Lieutenant, the corporal, offer nothing here. Tish! Tish for thee, Iceland dog, thou prickier cur of Iceland. Good corporal, ma'am, show thy valor and put up your blade. Will you shog off? I will have you solve this. Solace, egregious dog. Oh, viper, vile, the solace in thy most marvelous face. The solace in thy teeth, and in thy throat, and in thy painful lungs. Yea, in thy maw, parody. Which is worse, in thy nasty mouth. I do retort the solace in thy bowels, for I can take and pistol's cock is up, and flashing fire will follow. <laughs> I am not Barbasan. You cannot conjure me. I have a humor to knock you indifferently well. If you grow foul with me, Pistol, I will scour you with my rapier in fair terms, as I may. And if you would walk away, I will prick your guts a little in fair terms, as I may. And that's the humor of it! Oh, braggart, vile and damned furious white. The grave doth gape and doting death is near. Therefore, exhale. Hear me, hear me what I say. He that strikes the first stroke, I will run him up to the hills, as I am a soldier. An oath of mickle might and fury shall abate. Give me thy fist, thy forefoot to me give. Thy spirits are most tall. I will cut thy throat one time or other in fair terms, and that's the humor of it. Couple of gorge, that's the word. I thee defy again. My host pistol, you must come to my master, your new hostess. He's very sick and would to bed. Good boy, dog. Put thy face between his sheets into the office of warming pan. Faith, he's very ill. Away, you wrong! By my troth, he'll yield the crown pudding one of these days. The king has killed his heart. Good husband, come home presently. Come. Shall I make you two friends? We must to France together. Why the devil should we keep knives to cut one another's throat? Let floods or swell and fiends for food how long? I'll have the eight shillings I want of you at betting. <laughs> Base is the slave that pays. Then now I will have, that's the humor of it. As manhood shall compound, push home. By this sword, he that makes the first throat, I will kill him. By this sword, I will. <laughs> sword is an oath, and oaths must have their course. Go for him. And thou will be friends, be friends. And thou will not, why then be enemies with me too. Pretty put up. I shall have the eight shillings I want of you at betting. A noble shalt thou have, and present pay. And liquor likewise will I give thee. And friendship shall combine, and brotherhood. I'll live by Nim, and Nim shall live by me. Is this not just? For I will suddenly be under the camps, and profits will accrue. Give me thy hand. I shall have my noble. 
in cash most justly paid. <coughs> well, that's the humor of it. His heart is fractured and corroborate. The king is a good king, but he passes some good humors and fears. Well, let's condole the night for Lampkins. We will live. <laughs>